Are you looking to move to the South Hills of Pittsburgh? Maybe you want a community that has a little bit more of a country feel than somewhere like say Mount Lebanon. Well, I've got the perfect community for you. Stay tuned. My name is Rachel Geraci and I'm a real estate agent and advisor here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with Remax 360 Realty. I specialize in relocating to Pittsburgh and I get calls every single day about people all over the country wanting to move to Pittsburgh and they are asking me, how can I move to this most amazing city? So if you want to be one of my next clients that gets impeccable service, moving here to Pittsburgh, give me a call at 412-926-0806 or email me at the email below and I would be so honored to help you. It is my passion helping people move to the city and I really, really would love for you to be next. Today we're starting on Baptist Road, which is one of the main veins that runs through Bethel Park and it takes a lot of people to and fro a lot of places in Bethel Park. As you may know, um, if you've done any research on Bethel Park, Bethel Park is absolutely huge. I mean, it is no joke big. Okay, let me just actually give you a frame of reference for how big Bethel Park is. It is by far the biggest community in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. Landmass wise, um, it is just enormous and it is filled with a ton of people and population. We're driving right by Spoonwood Brewery, which is one of my favorite breweries and restaurants in Pittsburgh. They have absolutely amazing food and really great beer. Throughout this video, you're gonna see that the camera is a little bit wonky. It's mostly because I'm driving up and down a lot of hills and the camera just couldn't stay straight because of that, so I apologize about that in advance, but at least you know just how hilly the South Hills can be. In comparison to somewhere like Mount Lebanon, you can see how much land a lot of these lots have, how much yard space, and how much space there is in between all the homes. So, when I say country feel, that's sort of what I mean. Um, Bethel Park is definitely more of a country feel than Mount Lebanon, and you can even see that just watching this video. So this is actually one of the many, many, many neighborhoods off of Route 88. And Route 88 is the biggest road going through Bethel Park. It is an extremely busy road and it basically runs through the majority of Bethel Park and it's probably the most well-known road in Bethel Park. As you can see, there are a lot of ranches in Bethel Park. Realistically, homes in Bethel Park sell anywhere from 175 to around 800,000. Um, 800,000 is you know quite in the upper range, but Bethel Park has such a wide gap between affordability points that it it's almost more accessible than Mount Lebanon because of that. And it's definitely a place that draws a lot of people due to the Blue Ribbon School District as well.
So in a way, it does compete with Mount Lebanon on that um, category of school districts. But you can typically find a bigger home in Bethel Park. So you can find a three bedroom or four bedroom, two bath home, easy, no problem. And it's probably gonna be a little bit more affordable than a home in Mount Lebanon that might be smaller and only have one bathroom. So here we are on Route 88 again, and the farther down you go on 88, um, the closer you get to Peters Township, but there are shops all along this um, part of 88 going towards the King's School Road area. So here we are in an area of Bethel Park that is lovingly known as the dog streets because all the streets have dog names and this is a very very desirable part of Bethel Park because it has such amazing houses with wonderful yards and land space. Now we're moving into an area of Bethel Park that is sandwiched between South Park Road and the mall area. One thing I like about this area of Bethel Park in particular is how lush and green it is and all the trees around. The most prevalent architecture in Bethel Park is by far the Colonial, which is the most prevalent architecture in basically every community in Pittsburgh. Um, branches are also popular as are split entries, and you don't really see too much besides those.
As you can see, there's a lot going on on Route 88, and as I said, it's absolutely the main vein running through Bethel Park. And here we have Bethel Park High School. And from this area close to the high school, we come upon an area of Bethel Park where the T runs through West Library Avenue. And so you can see that if you live in this area, you're going to have a lot of opportunity to travel into the city with the T station being right there.
We're going into another residential area off of South Park Road. Coming up is the place where I went to dance school, Miss Judy's Dance Studio on South Park Road. I went there when I was literally like four or five years old and I have very vivid memories of absolutely loving it. It was quite the time in my life. I have to show you all Lindemer Avenue because my grandmother rented a house on this street when I was around four or five years old. Um, and I have a lot of memories on this street, so it's very, very sentimental to me. Now the last place, well the last residential place of Ethel Park I have to show you is Ward 5, which is super close to Castle Shannon. So I wanted to give you a little view of what um, Castle Shannon kind of looks like in a way, but make it Bethel Park. The median sales price for a home in Bethel Park runs around $300,000. It has climbed up month by month this year just because of how little inventory there is in Bethel Park and all the people wanting to move there. So in essence, everybody is fighting over homes in Bethel Park. And so you can see how popular Bethel Park is and yeah, now you can see why.
Here is the last shopping center I'm gonna show you, which is the Millennium Shops off 88. And that concludes my tour of Bethel Park. I hope you enjoyed. This is my gym, High Point Fitness in Bethel Park. I absolutely love it here.